So I am here to show you a video comparing the two favorite brands of stamping polishes that I have. I do apologize for what you can hear in the background. My daughter is watching TV and playing. I can't do anything about that. Uh, but anyway, so the two brands are MDU and Dashika. I've only had MDU polishes for a few months and I've owned Dashika polishes since early 2012. Um, and when I tried uh, Dashika, it was basically love at first step because I've only had Conad before. But uh, MDU is based in Mexico. Dashika is based in Netherlands. Both have international shipping. Uh, Dashika formula is very thin. It has a normal uh, polish scent to it. Um, it stamps way better than Conad in my opinion. And MDU is a thick polish. A little goes a long way with this. You will see that in the video. And uh, the reason why MDU isn't on the top of my list is because MDU polishes have a very strong smell to them. Uh, you can add a couple of drops of pure fragrance oil to the polish and mix it in really well. Uh, but it will not remove the smell, it will conceal it so it will be a bit easier to deal with the smell while you're working with the polish. But if you are sensitive to smells, meaning if really strong chemical smells give you headaches, uh, then uh, or live with someone that are sensitive to smells, then you might have problems with MDU. For instance, my son, my eight-year-old son, he gets uh, complaints about uh, getting headaches if I work with the new formula of MDU uh, I can get headache uh, with the old formula of MDU so I will stamp the MDU polishes on this colored strip paper and then I will do the dashika on the blank black paper and I will be using Infinity Nails by Dashika and plate number seven. Right there, that image right here. And then um, I won't be using one of my favorite uh, marshmallow or soft stampers when I'm doing this because MDU um, polishes, some of the colors can stain your stamper. So I'm just going to use my squishy firm um, stamper I got from Aliexpress that I just placed in my do-it-yourself handle thingy midriggy because that is easier to remove with the magic eraser than it is uh, on a ma marshmallow sticky stamper both MDU polishes and Dashika polishes will uh, split after a while so you have to mix them by either shaking or you can use a tattoo ink mixer like this to mix the polishes again. It's harder to mix the MDU polishes because they are thicker than the uh, Dashika ones uh, but um, I also added a big mixing bowl to the MDU polishes um, because it would be uh, making the mixing uh, the polishes easier again. And as you can see, I might even use too much polish here, but uh, I'm still getting 
used to the MDU polishes. I'm still kind of trying to figure out how much polish I actually need on the image. But yes, a little uh, MDU polish goes a very long way. I know there is a lot of stampers out there that um, only order mini bottles of MDU and it still will last them a long, long time. So that was MDU Barbie and I'm going to use the Dashika Pink and I haven't used this for a while so I have to mix it up a bit. Just shake it. I can just shake the uh, Dashika ones because they are thinner. So very easy to um, do. Both polishes are 12 milliliters um, the old form of the shikas are 11 milliliters but you can't get these anymore so so they have the same amount of polish in the bottles in current formulas So the Dashika pink is on the left and then you have the MDU Barbie on the right. And I know they weren't exactly the same color shades of pink but it was the closest I had of the Dashika. So. Still you will see like what I'm trying to prove here how well they uh, stamp over dark colors. So next is MDU pink and Dashika pastel pink. Scraping it off. So this is MDU pink. And I always close the bottle of MDU polishes while I work so it limits um, the time fumes will be released. But when I do use them, I still have pan and window open when I use them. Just because it might give kids or guinea pigs hair problems, so that's what I do. Um, even though, you know, they have a strong smell to them, I still want to make um, more MDU orders because they have so many colors to choose from it is just amazing the color range that you can get from MDU it's just she has she releases like collections each season um, and they're just really really pretty I mean I've been wanting to try um, MDU polishes for a long long while Um, the thing uh, with MDU polishes, when you order it can take uh, like 30 to 35 days or 40 days because of customs. Uh, when you order from Dashika it can take anything from 10 days to 14 days. So this is the old formula of MDU and Dashika both in apricot. And um, I have added so many drops of fragrance oil uh, in this one right here and it still won't get rid of the smell like it does on the new formula. I don't know why it is but I'm afraid to add any more oil to it because I don't want to ruin the polish. 
Um, but as you can see, it's split right here, so I have to mix it up. So I'm using my tattoo ink mixer. I'm just mixing the polish again. And like I said, you have to do that with both with both MDU and Dashika polishes after a while because both of them do tend to split. Someone wanted whipped cream. So this is MDU apricot, old formula, and then Dashika's <laughs> apricot. And she's talking to the guinea pigs behind me right now. What else can I say? What? You're talking to the guinea pigs. Oh, how fun. What are they doing? They're eating. Oh, is Floppy eating again? Yes, I'm talking to the <laughs> Floppy's eating too. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I say? Where was I? Um. So I'm do you here, right here, and this is the Dashika apricot. You can see here, I'm trying to kind of do it a bit better here, so you can see the colors. The Dashika apricot is a bit darker than the um, MDU, and because of the camera, it kind of gets a bit washed out. It is actually a bit brighter than it looks like here. And then we have Dashika Green and MDU Mint. They don't have a mint color in Tashika, I'm afraid. So this was the closest match um, of the two. Um, as I said, you know, when I got the Tashikas, it was um, love at first stamp is, and it because you know I got way better color payoff than I did with Conad. Um, the only one that I had problems with from Dashika was the white one. But other than that, not had any prob problems with Dashika polishes. Um, and like I said, MDU, they have a lot, a lot of colors and most of them stamp over dark base colors um, and Dashika doesn't have as many color choices uh, but as you can see they stamp pretty good over black too as you can see right here so you have at the bottom you have the MDU mint and top is the Dashika green And since I did the um, old formula MDU, I will just show you an old formula of the Dashika too. So I'm going to do Dashika and MDU in pastel yellow. 
on both of them right here um, you won't be able to get the old formula bottles from Dashika anymore so I don't know how the uh, current yellow is because I haven't tried it what are you doing? She's making sounds next to me here. Gracie, I'm walking. Oops. Can you stop it, please? So I can walk. And then we have the Chica pastel yellow old formula. I am walking. I asked you nicely. You wanted to watch TV, or should I just turn it off? Okay, then you watch the TV. So you have the Dashika on the left, and then MDU on the right. Oh wait, you can't really see it that well, so let's try to flip it a bit. I don't know. Oh well. So there you can see the two swatches the chica on the left and MD on the right okay so um, another thing with the Dashika polishes if you have Access stamping polish on your skin. Oh, I'm a klutz. Would you look at that? Oh, well, just brush them aside until I'm done. <laughs> anyway, um, if you have um, stamping polish on your skin with the Chica polishes and you usually kind of remove that with tape or your lint roller, that will not work on uh, the Chica polishes. It will stay put. So you have to use polish remover, a Q-tip or a cleanup brush to remove the Chica polishes uh, from your skin. Um, the Dashika polish is, like I said, uh, then they only have a standard kind of a nail polish scent to them. Um, MDU thicker polish, um, more durable, a little goes a long way, but it has a very strong smell to them. So if you are sensitive, it will not, it may not be the polish for you, meaning. Um, if you get headaches easily. So, um, like I said, Dashika is topping the list of my stamping polishes, closely followed by MDU. Um, if it wasn't for the smell on MDU, no doubt MDU would be the top on the list because it has more color choices. Um, but I can't really ignore the smell because, you know, it gives my kid a headache. The old formula will give me a headache. And I know I'm not the only one out there uh, that are sen that is sensitive to smells. Uh, I also like La Femme and DRK nails stamping polishes. And I do have some Conad. Um... But, uh, like I said, the Chica, first place, closely followed by MDU, and then I have on shared um, 
third place, La Femme and DRK, and that is because I haven't tried as many colours of each of those. Um, I only have like uh, three uh, colours of each, basically. So I can't really kind of um, do the same kind of review of those two brands until I've tried more colours. And then of course Conad at the bottom. So here are the swatches and I hope this video was helpful and I do apologize for all of the background noises that you had to deal with while watching this but um, if you like this video just thumbs up and thank you all for watching. Bye bye.